OMG, baby. <laughs>
yeah I, I always thought that I wouldn't talk about this stuff like like I said I was embarrassed and I was ashamed but like at the end of the day like I feel like most of us even though I'm a silly like I'm, I'm a silly like, let's be honest like, I'm stupid like I'm I'm dumb in it but I feel like people make mistakes like we all do stuff that we're a bit embarrassed about and the fact that we don't talk about it is why other people make the same mistakes because really and truly if we all spoke about stuff people would make certain mistakes less because they would know like rah don't do that so period so basically I'm gonna start with the first one so the first story okay period so what age was I mm -hmm. I'm gonna just like ballpark say I was about Ah, uh, ballpark. I think I was like 23. Yeah, I was like 23. I need a break. I was about 23. Woo! You know, I've really been finessing my life. People are really taking the piss out of me. Oh, what I want to say before I even got into the stories, yeah? These stories are very different to the story with um, Tion, mainly because these are more my fault. I'm not saying the other one wasn't. But I feel like this is these are one more. Th these stories are not as traumatic. I can laugh at them now because these are my fault. Like I should have known better. I feel like I did stuff in these that were for me to blame. And with um, the other story with my man, like with 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 Tion, I feel like he took advantage of me and did. He just didn't meet. Um, um, I feel like I acted decent and I think he just took the piss. But with these ones, these I feel like these are more my fault. But I'm gonna start period, let's start and then you guys can tell me what you think. Am I gonna read your comments? No, because I know I've got bare haters who are gonna ch chat shit in the comments. So I'm not gonna read the comments, but um, I'll skim them. I'll skim them, you can let me know if you think it's my fault. So let's start, sorry, I've been babbling on for ages. So <laughs> yeah, I was about 23. <laughs> Yeah. I was on Instagram. And let me tell you something, guys. I've never spoken about this guy before. Like I said, I ain't got a problem with him. But this guy's fine. He is by far, hands down, the sexiest guy I've been with. He is. He is fine. Yeah? Like, to the point where, like, like I, i'm being dead ass serious because he's younger than me i think he's like so i was 23 maybe he was maybe he was 20. I can't, i'm gonna be honest with you guys i can't remember um but um i would be his sugar mom like he's so fine that he makes me consider like baby i'll look after you that's how like that's how fine he is i want to describe him to you guys and i'm gonna use his real name yes i am period I actually want to know where he is. Like, I genuinely want to know where this guy is. Like, I don't know what's happened to him. Is he in pen? Is he, is he, is he, is he about? That's what I want to know. So I'm going to use his real name because I feel like one person who watched this will know who he is and then they can DM me, but we'll see. Um, cause I really want to know who this guy is. But, um, yeah, like I said, like he is the, so I was on Instagram and I don't know how the interaction happened. I don't know if he was on my explore page or if he liked a picture. I'm not really sure. But the point is I ended up on this boy's Instagram. Yeah, these are the days I was at Instagram baddie. So I ended up on this boy's Instagram and let me tell you, this boy was fine. You know when you think, yeah, this is a catfish, bro. You think this is a catfish. There is no way in hell this Instagram belongs to a human being. This brother is a catfish. That's how lame he was like, guys, let me there was a time a point and time and period where I genuinely thought yeah I genuinely thought if I'm not going to have a baby for love I'm going to have a baby with this brother because he's sexy and my kids are going to be so cute because he's so fine let me describe him. So obviously I see the Instagram, I'm going to describe the guy. And like I said, I'm going to use his name. And if anyone knows who he is, yo, hit me up. Because where's his brother? What's happened to him? Let me describe him. So imagine Trey songs, yeah? J just imagine Trey songs. That's basically what he looks like. Genuinely. He looks like Trey songs, but better. He looks like Trey Songs but better. Do you know what I'm trying to... How can you look like Trey Songs but better? 
make it make sense he looks like Trey Songz but better yeah skin smoked like skin smoked he's like six foot oh he's tall ah! he's like six foot three or four this the skin yeah obviously he's like he's like chocolate but he's a bit he's a bit he's a bit lighter than a tray so he's like he's lighter than me so he's not a lighty though he's not a light he's a browning but he's like a light browning but sexy Se i'm telling you he looks like trey songs but it's like trey songs had a baby and the baby came out better looking than him that's what he looks like six foot i think he's like six foot two or three tall deep voice hey i'm telling you my first caribbean brother my my first caribbean brother he was sexy you know what let me let me let me just let me just let me just tell you lot like i'm saying he looks like trey songs this brother looks american basically you know when you when you know when you're online and you see these american pages of handsome black men he's one of them brothers don't you okay don't get me wrong a lot of people get um that pictures used like on catfish and that this is a regular recurrence for him every day i've had my pictures used by other people i'm not trying to say that i don't think i'm an attractive person but i mean like i think a lot of people have had their pictures used but this i'm talking about this is a regular occurrence for this guy because he's that length like every day people are trying to be you yeah it's so bad that i remember one time like I, i'm even, i'm just trying i can't believe i've been describing this guy for 10 minutes but so bad that my sister my um my um little sister one time um some guy on snapchat was trying to um like chat to her and she showed me the picture of a guy like because i think she thought she was getting catfished or i don't i don't know what she or she she remembered she knew i knew him anyway she showed me the, the guy that was trying to catfish her and it was the boy i'm chatting about if, imagine someone used his pictures to try to catfish my own sister leng Len, oh, Len, Len, sexy Len, mmm, mmm, sexy. I swear to God, this this brother, yeah, if you saw him, I swear to God, you'd wanna lick his whole body from from top to bottom. He's so sexy. Whoa. <laughs> It was before tea on and i can't remember when was tea on like fucking 26 i think 26 25 i think tea was 25. anyway who remembers it could be the year before i don't know um but I, I, no i was young i was definitely young because me and him when i met tea on i'd been linking my man for like i knew my man for like two three years it must have been about 23 22 i'm correct anyway i didn't even know if i had a shot with this guy yeah, I'm not really the type of girl who ever really like thinks like I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to be big headed, but I don't I, when I if I if I slide in a guy's DMs, maybe not now because a lot of people think I like because right now I have a, like I wouldn't say I have a bad rep, but a lot of people don't like people know me and a lot of people might want to stay away from me because of um, my online antics. Um, but I'm talking about before, when I was just like an Instagram girl and no one knew my personality, no one knew my, my drama. I'm talking about before. Yeah? I wasn't really like, if I, if, I, if I liked a guy, I wouldn't be too worried that he would like me back. I don't, I don't mean to sound big-headed, but I wouldn't be too worried. Even if he doesn't want to wife me, I would say he would at least, he would at least um, reply because most guys want to beat. And I'm, I think I'm leng enough to, for a guy to want to beat. Not that I want to be, but I think I'll get a response on the account of I'm laying enough for that at least, yeah? So, this guy, when I DM'd him, I DM'd him. I'm telling you, yeah, because I literally had a heart attack. When I DM'd this brother, I swear to God, he... This is the first time I, like, one of the first times I was actually, like... Because I never moved to man. I want to make that very clear. I'm not somebody that moves to man. Yeah, but he was so sexy. You know, he took my breath away. So, when I DM'd him, I'm thinking there's a chance he's not going to reply because he's that lame <laughs> Jesus Christ give me your sperm give me your sperm give it to me give it to me give it to me give it to me like I was thinking there's a chance he's not going to reply I'm not going to lie like he's he's lame 
I remember seeing one picture of him. Oh, guys, I remember seeing one picture of him and I just thought to myself, oh my God. This, like, you can't be real. Like, you actually can't be real. So, anyway, I DM'd him and he replied. And I thought, oh my God, no, like, this, how can this guy reply? Like, I couldn't actually believe it. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Um, so he replied and we were talking and I basically told him that I thought he was he was cute and he, then he said that he thought I was cute <laughs> What me? Me? You think I'm cute? <laughs> you know? You think I'm cute? Stop it <laughs> So I was just like whoa with this fine 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 specimen thinks I'm cute like what the fuck so I was happy you have to understand when you're like when you're when you're like basically shooting your shot you don't know if um the brother likes slim tip I'm not slim tip I'm thick and I was thick back then not as thick as I am now but I was still thick then you don't know if he likes um thick things I don't know if he likes black things. I don't know if he likes, he only likes light skin girls. I don't know if he likes skinny, dark, dark girls. Do you get it? Like you don't know what someone's type is. For all you know, he only likes white girls. He only likes Greek girls. You know what I'm saying? So like, you're also, like really like, since you're taking a risk, so, but anyway, when he said I was like, I was happy. I was thinking, oh my God, he thinks I'm cute. <laughs> yes, go <ahead. laughs> Yes. So I was so happy. And then I think um, we were talking for a bit and we we're talking for a bit and I think like within a week we decided that like, we we're going to meet. Yeah, I was being fast. And I'm not going to lie to you, like in my head, um, oh yeah, in those days, I'm going to be real with you, yeah, um, at 22-ish, I expected a, a guy to take me on a date, even if it was cinema, I expected a guy to take me on a date, even if it was Nando's. But, um, I wasn't thinking straight because he was so lame. I wasn't. I want to just let you know, guys know from start to finish, this whole, whole experience, I wasn't thinking straight because he was so lame. Oh yeah, so I'm going to use his real name. I don't give a F. I'm going to use his real name, period. So his real name, should I use his real name? I, okay, I'm going to use a name that rhymes with his name because if anybody knows him, if anybody knows him, I want to know where he is. So his real name is uh, okay. So what what rhymes with it? I'm gonna use the name Cipher. Yeah, Cipher. You, if you know him, you know it rhymes with his name. Period. Cipher. So um, cool. Anyway, now um, I'm also going to meet him. Yeah, cool. He's invited me to his yard. So he's not taking me on a date. I just like belched in. Excuse me. He said he's invited me to his yard. He's not taking me on a date. I didn't care. I didn't care. All my rooms went out the window. So I pull up. These times I'm driving a um I'm driving some like light blue A class. I'm gonna put a picture of a car you drive. Like it's actually really funny looking car so i pull up i say i'm outside i'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys yeah i remember going and i remember like back in the day like you know like back in the day like you just you just didn't you didn't yeah sorry this guy's caribbean at this point i'd only been with africans and the thing was just so uh, powerful it was it was just strong it was just It was quite <sighs> He was taking the piss basically. Yeah? You have no right to be as long as you are and just be doing things like this. Yeah, you you can't you can't be, you can't be packing like this, okay? You're taking the piss. Like how can you be longer than every single 
like guy on the street all the man them like you're 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 longer than all of them and then you're you're packing what are we talking about what are you doing you're taking that piss it was i was i was yeah it was war no it was war it was nice it was lovely so anyway i must have seen it now i can't believe it i'm gonna, not gonna lie to you at this point i'm thinking whoa i have no self-respect at this point when we get married when I impregnated me, that's what I want to know. I'm in love with you. I just want you to know that I am in love with you. I've known you a week and I've known you an hour, and I think that you're the one for me. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are you proposing? Like, it was like that's, that's, I was on him. Like at this point, I'm sprung. This is before we've even done the thing. I've just seen it. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I remember when I was at that age, a lot of guys didn't, um, all I want to say is a lot of guys didn't, because of YouTube, I don't know how to say this stuff. A lot of guys didn't, um, they didn't, that's the, I can't, I can't, I can't do that on YouTube. What can I say on YouTube? Age, a lot of guys didn't like massage I'm talking in code they didn't massage the um, front I'm sure YouTube doesn't know that word um, with their yeah you know what I'm saying a lot of guys didn't massage the front with that <laughs> yeah but my baby my baby was a freak so yeah so yeah my baby my baby like he wasn't like the rest he was he just like he was the best you know so cut a long story short i had a great session it was great it was great and i really i really took it and had it you know at the back of my throat if you know what i mean i really you know deep in my throat yeah it was great it was great it was great the whole experience was 10 out of 10 and i left there and i was like just madly in love with the boy like madly in love with him i just thought oh my god you're amazing you're perfect anyway we spoke every day he was really sweet really really sweet to be honest with you even even now i really i i still think highly of him even though he did what he did you're a prick what he did but um i don't hate him i just think that he was young and whatever and also he's never cut me off it's, especially it's only now like i actually don't know what's happened to him but he's never cut me off i think he's a great guy anyway okay now you guys know how we met and how we first came into the same like perimeters um and now you guys know like i was on him yeah very silly so anyway i got my first job at a uni I want to make it clear that when I finished uni, I didn't have a job straight away. Um, but I was in my first year at uni. My first year at uni, I was there for three years. And when I finished uni, because I went to uni late, so I graduated from uni at 22. And I got my first job at uni maybe like 22 and a half or some shit or 23, something like that. I don't, I don't really know, but I just know it was a year after. So I was about 22 and a half, 23 years old, that, that ballpark. So I got my first job at uni. And it was the first time in my life that I was making like money because I'd been at uni and I'd never actually had a job. Like I, my, my parents, I'm not gonna lie guys, my parents always paid for everything. So I never had a job. I had a little job at the O2 Arena and I used to go there like once a week or once a month sometimes just for bands. But I never had like a proper job. So like when I work, I used to work at, a, the company doesn't exist anymore. Um, I used to work at a, um, at a, um, sorry i used to work at an events company and i used to do their visuals for them so like when people had a party i would like um i would i would draw the party or i would um f make a 3d version of the party before so that they could approve it and then it would be made in real life so that's what i used to do because if you don't know a girl can draw and stuff so yeah i used to do that 
and it was the first time I was making like money. I was making like loads of money, but I was taking home like maybe like I think I was initially I was taking home like 1.5k a month, and I had never ever made money. So I was still living at home. All I had to do was pay for my petrol, and everything else was for me. I didn't have to pay bills in my house, so everything was for me. I could buy wigs. I could go on holidays. Go on holidays so much. I could buy um, um, you know designer handbags. Whatever I wanted to do with it, because like I didn't have any bills really. Like so my my car was given to me by my parents. So I was like, what we're talking about, my mom even paid my first year of insurance, if I'm real with you, so I just have loads of disposable income. So anyway, I remember, um, what's his face, Cypher, he was a, he was a hood brother. Ugh. He was a hood brother, but sexy. So anyway, he must have one day called me when I was at work. They always call me when I'm at work, these mother effers. He called me when I, was, when I was at work now, and he was just like, yo, baby, or yo, darling, whatever. And he was just telling me, like, he's in financial troubles and stuff. And this is how mad this story is, because this one is totally 100% my fault. I'm not saying that he's not, like, he obviously he could have done better, but I, I, I wouldn't do what I did. I wouldn't do what I did then now. So, yeah, um, I'm whipped. He, yeah, he calls me one day and he's just like, I think he had been acting off. And when I'd asked him what was wrong, he just said he was stressed out. He said how he like, he just like had money issues and all this kind of stuff, right? But he never asked me for the money from what I recall. I, I, he, the second time, because he asked me for money, this money situation with him happened twice. Um, but the first time he did not ask me for the money. He was just like telling me his money situations. So anyway, I must have said to him, um... I must have said to him, um, because the thing is, I think I missed him and I missed how he was treating me and how he was behaving and we couldn't do the normal things we, could, we, we used to do because he wasn't in a good place. So I just kind of wanted my baby back. So I was just kind of like, oh, what's up? Like, what's popping up? Like, what's, what's the problem? And he was just kind of like, he told me like, what's, what's good? Like, why he's not in a good place? And then I was just like, okay, cool. Then I was just like, you know what? I think I can help you. Because I had so much disposable income, because I, like I said, I had no bills. Like, living at home, your car's paid for, your insurance is paid for, like, what we're talking about. I had so much disposable income. Like, genuinely, like, if I, if I don't go out, my, and my mom, my, I lived with my mom at this point. Like, I, if, now I don't, because my mom is in Africa. Sometimes I, I'm at the house in Ends, in North London, and sometimes I'm in this house in Essex. But my mom, like, I still live with my mom. So my mom paid for all the food in the house. So like, what are we talking about? Like I genuinely, if I wanted to, I could probably, obviously I, I need a petrol, but if I wanted to, I could probably save 1.4K every month. You know, I can't even, I mean, to do that now is even a blessing. Cause obviously I've got like a mortgage and I've got a car and I've got land, I've got this, and I've got music videos and you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? But like then like I could, bro, what are you talking about? Easy, I had no bills. So he needed the money. So I basically said to him, cool, no problem. So I was just like, I'll help you baby, like a dickhead. So I transferred him 1,000 pounds. Yeah, can you believe it? Oh, you wanna know the worst part? I almost missed it out. You wanna know the worst part? The worst part is that when, he... this is really bad. This is really bad. Now, when, now yeah, I'm like, I got you baby. Send me your bank details. Tell me why he sent me his bank details and his name is not his name. It's a different name, bro. It's a different name, bro. It's not Cypher. I'm gonna tell you what name he went, went by because whoever knows him will know that, he might know that this is the name he goes by or went by. So he used to go by name, he used to go by the name Rico. You, someone must know who I'm talking about. So I'm thinking, hold on a minute, what, pardon? What are we talking about? So, sorry guys, like I feel like my nose is getting clogged. So I'm thinking, what are we talking about? Like what, what, and then he like probably gave me like an explanation, I'm really sorry. Like I don't give people my real name, basically, unless it's like people who are mad close to me, something like that. Sorry. So in my head I was thinking, so what, we've been effing, because we had been, we've been effing, we've been, we've been, like, we've, we've been doing stuff in my, like, my, my little blue Mercedes, like, we've been, I've been effing with you, and I don't know your real name? Like, what? <laughs> um, so at that point, really, I should have, like, 
not send any fucking these like to be honest like i shouldn't have sent it in the beginning but I... yeah sorry this guy's caribbean at this point i don't only been with africans and the thing was just uh, powerful it was it was the strong was just it was It was quite <sighs> He was taking the piss basically. Yeah? You have no right to be as long as you are and just be doing things like this. Yeah. You you can't you can't be, you can't be packing like this, okay? You're taking the piss. Like how can you be longer than every single like guy on the street all the man them like you're you're, you're longer than all of them and then you're you're packing what are we talking about what are you doing you're taking that piece it was i was i was yeah it was whoa no yeah, it was whoa it was nice it was lovely so anyway i must have seen it now i can't believe it i'm gonna, not gonna lie to you at this point i'm thinking world i have no self-respect at this point when we get married, when are you pregnant with me? That's what I want to know. I'm in love with you. I just want you know, to know that I am in love with you. I've known you a week and I've known you an hour. And I think that you're the one for me. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are you proposing? Like, it was like, that's, that's, I was on him. Like, at this point, I'm sprung. This is before we've even done the thing. I've just seen it. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I remember when I was at that age, a lot of guys didn't, um, what I want to say is a lot of guys didn't, because of YouTube, I don't know how to say this stuff. A lot of guys didn't, um, age, a lot of guys didn't like massage. I'm talking in code. They didn't massage the, um, front, I'm sure YouTube doesn't know that word, um, with their, yeah, you know what I'm saying? A lot of guys didn't massage the front with that. <laughs> yeah, but my baby, my baby was a freak. So, yeah. So, yeah, my baby, my baby, like he wasn't like the rest. He was, he just like he was the best, you know. So, cut a long story short. I had a great session. It was great. It was great, and I really. I really took it, had it, you know, at the back of my throat, if you know what I mean. I already, you know, deep in my throat. Yeah, it was great. It was great. It was great. The whole experience was 10 out of 10. Hi, guys. I just want you guys to know that it was healthy and I wanted it shoved to the bottom of my esophagus first. Shoved to the bottom of my esophagus. Fuck us first, like this. <gasps> Period. And I left there and I was like, just madly in love with the boy. Like, madly in love with him. I just thought, oh my god, you're amazing, you're perfect. Anyway, we spoke every day. He was really sweet. Really, really sweet, to be honest with you. Even, even now, I really. I, I still think highly of him, even though he did what he did. You're a prick what he did, but um, I don't hate him. I just think that he was young and whatever and also he's never cut me off it's, especially it's only now like i actually don't know what's happened to him but he's never cut me off i think he's a great guy anyway okay now you guys know how we met and how we first came into the same like perimeters um and now you guys know like i was on him yeah very silly so anyway i got my first job at a uni i want to make it clear that when I finished uni, I didn't have a job straight away. Um, but I was in my first job at a uni. My first job at a uni, I was there for three years. And when I finished uni, because I went to uni late, so I graduated from uni at 22. And I got my first job at a uni, maybe like 22 and a half or some shit, or 23, something like that. I don't, I don't really know, but I just know it was a year after. So I was about 22 and a half, 23 years old, that, that ballpark. So I got my first job at a uni. 
and it was the first time in my life that I was making like money because I'd been at uni and I'd never actually had a job like I my, my parents I'm not gonna lie guys my parents always paid for everything so I never had a job I had a little job at the O2 Arena and I used to go there like once a week or once a month sometimes just for bands but I never had like a proper job so like when I work I used to work at a the company doesn't exist anymore um I used to work at a um at a um Sorry, I used to work at an events company and I used to do their visuals for them. So like when people had a party, I would like, um, I would, I would draw the party or I would um, f make a 3D version of the party before so that they could approve it and then it would be made in real life. So that's what I used to do. Because if you don't know, a girl can draw and stuff. So yeah, I used to do that. And it was the first time I was making like money. I was making like loads of money, but I was taking home like maybe like, I think I was initially I was taking home like 1.5K a month. And I had never ever made money. So I was still living at home. All I had to do was pay for my petrol and everything else was for me. I didn't have to pay bills in my house. So everything was for me. I could buy wigs, I could go on holidays, go on holidays so much. I could buy, um, um, you know, designer handbags. Whatever I wanted to do with it. Cause like I didn't have any bills really. Like so my, my car was given to me by my parents. So I was like, what we're talking about, my mom even paid my first year of insurance, if I'm real with you, so I just had loads of disposable income. So anyway, I remember, um, what's his face, Cypher, he was a, he was a hood brother, Ugh. he was a hood brother, but sexy. So anyway, he must have, um, he must have one day called me when I was at work, they always call me when I'm at work, these mother effers. He called me when I, was, when I was at work now and he was just like, yo, baby, or yo, darling, whatever. And he was just telling me, like, he's in financial troubles and stuff. And this is how mad this story is because this one is totally 100% my fault. I'm not saying that he's not, like, he obviously he could have done better, but I, I, I wouldn't do what I did. I wouldn't do what I did then now. So, yeah, um, I'm whipped. He, yeah, he calls me one day and he's just like, I think he had been acting off. And when I'd asked him what was wrong, he just said he was stressed out. He said how he like, he just like had money issues and all this kind of stuff, right? But he never asked me for the money from what I recall. I, I, he, the second time, because he asked me for money, this money situation with him happened twice. Um, but the first time he did not ask me for the money. He was just like telling me his money situations. So anyway, I must have said to him, um... I must have said to him, um, because the thing is, I think I missed him and I missed how he was treating me and how he was behaving and we couldn't do the normal things we, could, we, we used to do because he wasn't in a good place. So I just kind of wanted my baby back. So I was just kind of like, oh, what's up? Like, what's popping? Like, what's, what's the problem? And he was just kind of like, he told me like, what's, what's good? Like, why he's not in a good place? And then I was just like, okay, cool. Then I was just like, you know what? I think I can help you. Because I had so much disposable income, because I, like I said, I had no bills. Like, living at home, your car's paid for, your insurance is paid for. Like, what we're talking about, I had so much disposable income. Like, genuinely, like, if I, if I don't go out, my, and my mom, my, I lived with my mom at this point. Like, I, now I don't, because my mom is in Africa. Sometimes I'm at the house in Ends, in North London, and sometimes I'm in this house in Essex. But my mom, like, I still live with my mom. So my mom paid for all the food in the house. So like, what are we talking about? Like I genuinely, if I wanted to, I could probably, obviously I, I need a petrol, but if I wanted to, I could probably save 1.4K every month. You know, I can't even, I mean, to do that now is even a blessing. Cause obviously I've got like a mortgage and I've got a car and I've got land and I've got this, and I've got music videos and you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? But like then like I could, bro, what are you talking about? Easy, I had no bills. So he needed the money. So I basically said to him, cool, no problem. So I was just like, I'll help you baby, like a dickhead. So I transferred him 1,000 pounds. Yeah, can you believe it? Oh, you wanna know the worst part? I almost missed it out. You wanna know the worst part? The worst part is that when, he... this is really bad. This is really bad. Now, when, now yeah, I'm like, I got you baby. Send me your bank details. Tell me why he sent me his bank details and his name is not his name. It's a different name, bro. It's a different name, bro. It's not Cypher. 
I'm gonna tell you what name he went went by because whoever knows him will know that he might know that this is the name he goes by or went by. So he used to go by the name he used to go by the name Rico. You someone must know who I'm talking about. So I'm thinking, hold on a minute, what? Pardon? What are we talking about? So sorry guys, like I feel like my nose is getting clogged. So I'm thinking, what we're talking about, like what, what, and then he like probably gave me like an explanation. I'm really sorry, like I don't give people my real name basically, unless it's like people who are mad close to me, something like that. Sorry. So in my head, I was thinking, so what? We've been effing because we had been, we've been effing, we've been, we've been like we, we've been doing stuff in my like my my little blue Mercedes, like we've been, I've been effing with you, and I don't know your real name, like what? Um, so at that point, really, I should have, like, not sent any fucking these, like, to be honest. Like, I shouldn't have sent it in the beginning, but at that point, I should have seen, I should have seen it as a red flag. And I should have been like, nah, brother, you can't even, I don't even know your real name. Like, brother, what are we talking about? No. What sh I, that's what I should have done. But, um, I was a dickhead. I was a fool in it. So I did, I, I actually, I just sent it. I sent it anyway, regardless of the fact that he had given me a fake name. I sent him the money regardless of the fact that he'd given me a fake name, a whole grand, you know. So anyway, cool, I sent it now. And then he said that he's gonna pay me back. I think he said like something like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was so long ago, I don't remember the period of time he was gonna pay me back. But it wasn't a long period. I think it was like a couple months, like two months or something, he would pay me, cool. He just had to make money, like whatever. So, you know, um the time goes by and i haven't received a penny so he by the way he hasn't disappeared on me we're still linking so i'm just like what's up and he's just, just like oh i'm sorry it's taking longer it's taking longer but there's always an excuse there's, there's always an excuse and an excuse and excuse the money ain't coming so then i'm thinking like like what what's up with you like are you gonna give it to me so he ran me back i remember the, he oh so i said to him why don't you pay me in installments it makes it easier because not everybody has a lump sum. If you use the lump sum to pay for something, I'm not to pay a debt off, or you were in trouble, or I don't bloody know. I forgot to mention he was in trouble. Like some, like he owed someone money. He was gonna get beaten up. You know, the usual spiel. And I was worried about him. That was the reason he needed the money. The reason. So um, I'm like, cool, pay me installment. So he paid me two bills. And then after that, I didn't receive a penny. I didn't receive a penny. And if I'm honest, I think that that the money situation is what um, caused us to like drift apart and basically stop seeing each other because I felt like you violated me because I felt like I gave you something I trusted you. And like I understand that people have um, um, hard situ hardships and people are in difficult difficult situations and people can't always afford to give you what you deserve or what you're owed. But I I personally felt at the time that he could have done better than two two bills. I felt at the time that if he really cared about me, he could have at least paid half. That's, that's how I felt. So I didn't really, I think that was a point where we, we drifted apart. But I, I'll be real with you, on and off over the years, I, I still like, he would reach out to me, I would still go see him in it because I had a soft spot for him. Um, and actually, there was a point, yeah, before, before me and him properly like drifted, there was a point where I wrote him a letter. God, if I can find the letter, I swear to God, I'll put it on the screen. But I, I, wrote, I wrote him a letter and I wasn't 100% sure, th this is actually dead ass, because he used, to, when we used to link, we, I only went to his house twice, and this is gonna sound a bit crazy, but I'm not the best at remembering my bearings. So I'm someone who can easily forget where I was, especially because you have to understand that if I'm talking to someone, or I'm on my way somewhere, and I'm, I'm you know, listening to music, or I'm in the middle of talking to them, sometimes I'm not really paying attention that I'm turning on this road or I'm turning on that road. I'm gonna be real with you. So, unless I go somewhere like at least five times, sometimes I will know where about it is, but I might not know the exact door number because I, was, I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't even looking. I, did you get where I'm coming from? I wasn't even looking at the door number for real. I wasn't even looking at the road for real. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, um, he lived like, he didn't really live in a block of flats, but he lived in these, these like, I don't know what you call them houses that are super massive and super long. And then they've got different houses from 
they've got one, one flat at the bottom and in the middle and the top um, townhouses I think he lives in one of them North West London he lived at the top I wasn't even sure like which one it was they all looked the same I, rem I remember when I went because basically I wanted to to put the letter through the letterbox um, to basically tell his mum that he owed me money and stuff so when I went to find um, his house I remembered the road sorry his flat I remembered the road but I wasn't hundred percent sure which townhouse it was they all looked the same and I remember the section it was but there was like maybe six it could possibly be like I was like Br brother like, I don't know which one it is but I basically went there one time I went there, I went to that place one time and I um, couldn't figure it out so I went home and I thought I'm going to go there one day after work and what I did is I printed loads of letters so I had more than one and I posted a letter in basically every mailbox of every house of those six flats and guess what I got a phone call B I got a phone call so it worked he got the letter his mum his mum was actually the one that opened the letter and then he reached out to me but it didn't do anything I'm gonna be real with you it didn't do nothing because the boy didn't he never paid me back it didn't do it didn't do nothing it didn't do shit now I want to fast forward because this is this is what makes his story like make it's, it, it's a proper like dickheading on my part like I was a dickhead I want to make it very clear like this th with this story the big difference with this story is that I am the one that gave the money yeah I want to make that very clear with the other story I've told you about my man you know who I'm talking about the rapper he did what he did behind my back I want to make that very very clear yeah because he had my deals okay so I just don't want the comparison this one was stupid and I don't mind people cussing me but I stand on my ground with the other one yeah cool anyway cut a long story short maybe what maybe three years ago i think this is like i can't actually when was this maybe three three years ago i went to link my mom just to get wood though because at this point i didn't need the money whatever we're cool and i remember on my birthday he must have sent me we started talking again and he felt bad for what he did and then on my birthday he must have sent me um like wine like a teddy bear card oh my god i need to find it. i think i put it somewhere in my room because i would never throw that stuff away because he like i would i just wouldn't throw it but he sent me like wine chocolate a card a person a personalized card i think they had pictures of me everywhere and he wrote some romantic stuff in it and he just told me how much he loved me it was really cute and he just basically just basically said like i'm sorry for the way i've treated you um anyway couple couple but at this point remember me and him are not going out we just had like, talking again so he's done that for me a couple weeks later this boy is coming to ask me if i'll give him eight bills and i'm like no i lie i lie i lie this boy came back and asked me if i'll give him two grand two so um i basically said to him no i'm not giving you two grand he kept pressurizing me kept pressurizing me and then eventually i gave him money but i only gave him like i say only but it's not only i gave him like six bills um and i never no i never saw 50 quid of that back i never saw 10 pound of that back um yeah and I, I the thing is i made the mistake twice like i gave him money the first time he didn't pay me back and then i'm giving him money again and he used to always say to you before i die lani before this i promise i'm gonna give you every single penny this that and the third i asked him to come on my youtube channel he said he can't i was just like after all the money you owe me you won't even come on my youtube channel and the reason i wanted to come on my youtube channel is because of how lengthy he is i wanted him like to do travel with him and stuff and he was still like nah like i can't and one day I was like, I put it on him, like, why can't you at least help me with my channel if, like, you can't pay me back? Give me, give me views with your, with your length face. And then he was just basically like, I just can't. And then, like, I kept pressurizing him and he basically just made it very clear, like, he's not in a space where he can be bait because he's, he's fucked up a lot. And I'm not the only person he's fucked up with. So I was like, you get, you basically know what that means. I was just like, oh, I swear. And stuff. So all in all, like um we we've been cool like um i think I, I i blame me more than i blame him 
Um, I do feel like he could have paid me back, but I don't think it's personal. I feel like he just does it to a lot of people. And I think he does it to a lot of women. I think he does. Like, there are guys out here, guys, who ask women for money and will not pay you back. I don't just tell you, you guys this story so you guys can just laugh at me. I want to tell you these stories so you learn. No matter how lame someone is, no matter how much you like someone, no matter how big their schlong is, and they're just, like, flinging it around, and they're just ramming it in you, yeah? And it feels like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're a stallion, Yeah? And, and, they're, and they're putting it down you understand like you don't i do not think you should be giving money to men period full stop if someone's got a hard life then so what was that got to do with you what has that actually got to do with you what and this is what i genuinely believe if you're gonna give somebody money out of the kindness of your heart because they're going through some ish it needs to be a gift period it needs to be a gift so if you if you think for you for your standards like at the point i am in life if I love someone, I feel like the most I'd give them as a gift because they're going through some stuff is about three to four bills. I would give one of my brethren three to four bills as a gift. I said a gift, eh? I said a gift though. I said a gift. A gift means you can keep that. Yeah, you're going through some ish, sort yourself out. That's as much as I'm, I'm not a millionaire, I'm not giving you a K. I'm not a millionaire, I'm not giving you 2K. I'm not giving you 5K. I'm not giving you Ks. That's what we do. I can't afford that. As a gift, maximum, maximum, I'm giving you five bills. As a gift. Because I love you, have it. Do what you need to do. That's what I'm giving you, giving you as a gift. So my point is, I went way over budget with this brother. If we're really going to talk about it, at that point, I couldn't afford to give somebody five bills. As a, mm, I kind of could. But I shouldn't have been. I was 22. I couldn't have, I shouldn't have been giving anybody that, that amount of money. A grand? Are you joking? Maybe a hundred pounds? I'm a big woman now, do you understand? So it's different. But I was a kid then. So I shouldn't have been giving that kind of money to a guy. I'm a big woman now. So I can give, um, you know, a bit more. Point I'm trying to make is people will ask for favours. People will paint pictures that they're going through hell. People will paint pictures that if they don't do this, they're going to get beaten up, they're going to get shanked, they're going to get killed, they're going to get murdered. What's that got to do with you? What has that got to do with you? Nothing. Let me make this very, very clear. Sometimes they're telling the truth and sometimes they're lying. It just depends. I have one friend, yeah? She was friends with this one brother. I, um, I don't want to um, spoil her business, but I don't chat to her anymore, so who cares? Um, I have this one friend, she talks to this one brother. They were close. He was in sh with a gang. And she was scared that he was going to get... You understand? He was going to get... She was scared. She gave the brother free grand. Not because she was effing him, not because she fancied him, not because she loved him, because she was trying to save his life. Do you understand? Because she was trying to save his life because she gave a F, because she had a heart. Me and her, she pulled up. She came to my yard now. She pulled up. She was like, Lani, like, same way you've effed up. I think, I, I, I think this is after my man, after, after Tion. After, same way you've effed up or someone's taking advantage of you, someone's taking advantage of me. I gave this brother free K and he's going to pay you back. Let's pull up. And meanwhile, when she came to pull, pick me up, um, God bless her soul. I'm saying God bless her soul like she died. God bless her. When she came to pull me up, came to pull up, the car she was driving was, a, was very much a banger. It was very much a banger. She had silo tape on the window. She could have fixed the windows or, got, or, or fixed up her car with a few grand or maybe even upgraded her car. Do you understand what I'm coming from? But she gave it to a human being because she was trying to save his life. So we pulled up. This is Edmonton and you again, an Edmonton boy. Stay away from him. Pulled up, got in the car now, pulled up, went to his mom's house, knocked on the door. Going to people's mom's house never works, bro. How many times have I been to people's mom's houses? How many times? How many times? If you actually watch um, Story Times on my channel, I've been to um, a, a nigga's house like three times, like it don't work. We pulled up now, get to the house to pull up. And we, um, she goes in her room and she talks to the boy for like an hour. And he's, 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 he's not crying, but he's giving, he's, he's showing, he's like pouring his heart out. He's apologizing. He's showing her like, I'm gonna do better, I'm gonna pattern you. He never patterned this girl. He never patterned this girl. For all we know, he probably owes people 50 grand. We don't know. You know what I mean? He might be, you, you know, it's, you, you know when it comes to street guys, the stuff they do is just on a different level. They be robbing each other. They be doing this. It's messy. Don't get involved. If you really worry about someone's life and you want to save them, you give them money as a gift and that's it. You cut your losses and you leave. You just did it as the kindness of your heart as charity. If we're going to keep a buck, you do it as charity, but you don't do it because you're going to get paid back because you're not. You're not. Or you might not. And you need to be okay with that. Anyway, um, I'm just going to end this with um, 
I would like to have a baby, you know, in the next couple of years, and I need to find Cypher because he's lame. Like, I have nothing against him, it is what it is, he's never getting a penny off me. But if you guys know who he is, please, can you contact me, can you DM me? Um, because I need to be impregnated. Thank you very much. That's how we're going to end the video. Um, part two about the second person that finessed me, and that was only three years ago. Yeah, I know. OMG.